This is really going to be a you know, world-class, one-of-a-kind trash can. This is taking trashy to a new level. A Texas professor has ditched his home for a 33-square-foot dumpster, and he plans on living there for an entire year. Betty Cross from our affiliate KI in Austin, Texas, introduces you to the dumpster professor. Here's proof that home can fit on a forklift. This has been two and a half years in the making. Professor Dumpster is committed. So this is a experiment. To downsizing the American dream. You can have a pretty dang good life living in 1% the size of average American home. Right now, it's all talk. But starting tonight, he's making the ultimate dumpster dive. Oh, good. I would uh, like to show that it can be done. Uh, we will see if that pans out. If you really can live in 1% the size, use 1% the water, use 1% the electricity, and create 1% the waste. Take a look inside. This is six by six feet, a total of 36 square feet, and it feels even smaller once you're closed in at night. What's his biggest worry? The weather initially. What about food? Hopefully not too much dumpster diving. And how does Professor Dumpster plan to get a good night's sleep? How are you going to sleep in this? Well, uh, it's not going to be easy because I'm 6'1 and this is six feet. Despite the shortcomings, the doctor thinks it's possible to live in a trash can. Did you ever think of maybe choosing a bigger dumpster? <laughs> Yeah, so several people have suggested that uh, we use a shipping container or something, but uh, that would just be too easy. And nothing about this year-long experiment is designed to be easy. The first job for students at Houston Tillotson University is just to make the rusty square livable. But give the dumpster project team a few months and... This is really going to be a you know, world-class, one-of-a-kind trash can. <laughs> It's a before and after designed to show Austin how to live with less. Betty Cross, KITV News. Jeff Wilson, Professor Dumpster, is Skyping live from inside of his new home. HLN's own Jane Velez Mitchell joins us. Jane's very outspoken about reducing your carbon footprint. Jane has even had her own dumpster experience. Jeff, I got to ask you, last night, your first night, are you rethinking this year promise you made? <laughs> Uh, our project manager said that that uh, time of dumpster camping uh, mm -hmm. keeps shrinking. And uh, after last night, yeah, I'm looking forward to the average American dumpster home. Jane, I know you must have something to say to Jeff. I love you, Professor Dumpster. <laughs> Yay, you have brought Jane. home perhaps the most important issue of our time. Look, the overconsumption, the overaccumulation, after your basic needs are met, the studies show it doesn't increase your level of happiness. In fact, too much stuff can lead to depression. It's also creating environmental wreckage, climate change. We're seeing it every day. Hurricanes in New York, snowstorms in Atlanta. That's because of climate change, and climate change is caused by, in large part, overconsumption. Too exactly. much stuff, too Jeff, much waste. Yeah, it's an epidemic, as Jane yeah. said. Jeff, is that your point to teach the kids about this and how look i'll be an example i'll show you how little you can live on well the kids are going to experience it themselves uh i have a six-year-old daughter um talk about the ultimate daddy issues so she's not <laughs> going to be staying with me in the dumpster uh and when i do have her uh students will actually be staying in there and experiencing a little bit less so uh we'll be sharing that experience jeff you have a girlfriend as well i love how you yeah. showed a picture you said something like I'm honey I'm home very funny what does she have to say about this uh, well uh, she did give some comments yesterday about how she was going to uh, make sure that we had a hygiene check uh, before I stepped through uh, the threshold of her uh, little studio speaking apartment. of stepping through I understand you're gonna walk in and get in for us give us yeah, a, a tour we'll give you a little MTV cribs here okay. um, of the place this is it I've got a little mailbox here. It doesn't look like the uh, postman dropped anything off today. The standard 33-square-foot uh, dent. I'm wow. going to jump in, but I'm going to have to stuff this in my pocket for just a second while I get in the window door. Okay, I'm in. So now we're hey, Susan, inside. Yeah. yeah, Jane? I want to ask Professor Dumpster. Sure. Look, 
I think what you're doing is incredible. We have a uh, skyrocketing population on the planet. We're going to hit $9 billion by 2050. We all can't live in McMansions. What would you tell those people whose entire focus in life is, I want a bigger place, to I want more? Yeah. Jeff, well, what's your message? You know, uh -huh. Well, the message is that, in the hypothesis is that you can have a pretty darn good life living in 1% the size of an average new American home. So, you know, I'm not trying to preach anything specifically to them, uh, but we are trying to show that it can be done and then we'll let people make their own decision. Uh, Jeff, I don't want to kind of one up your dumpster, but I do have to show you Jane. She was in her own dumpster <laughs> and even ate from it. Wasn't so clean either. Take a look. These bags are clear, yeah. so we can kind of get a glance before we rip in. Oh, okay. And see if there's something. Oh, I got bread. There you go. I got bread. Look at this. Look <laughs> at all this bread, man. Woo! So, Jane, oh. that was your example on how much people waste and how much they acquire and really how little they need. When people are starving all over the world, we throw out something approaching 40% of all our food because of ridiculous laws, the inability to give to homeless people. I'll reveal something. I was walking down the street the night before last. I saw a whole bunch of bread that was thrown out from a fancy store here in Manhattan. Big, giant loaves sitting in an open container. And I looked at it and I said, this is obscene. I took two giant loaves and uh, I ripped them up and I've been feeding them to the pigeons in the snow. Wow. Professor Dumpster, I have to ask you, I know that's what you want to be called. Uh, what would your one statement be about your first night in your new home? Warm in bag, cold as hell outside of bag. <laughs> well, Jeff, you're a great sport and really making a great example for the students and I think people who are watching. Jeff, hey, thank you. Right. I have a place you. booked for you in the, in the spring, season. Oh, good. I'm in. One night I'll give you. One night. Only if Jane comes with me. All right. I'm in. Jane, great to talk to you guys as well. Stay with us.